Hi, Attorney Michael Potter here. As many of you know, I speak around the country in workshops and seminars on topics that are related to business ownership and investing, especially on how to protect what you've got. And one of the common questions I often get from small business owners and investors is whether or not they can employ their young children and actually deduct those costs. Well, the answer is yes, if you're willing to follow some rules. So in this segment, we're going to explore some of those rules and take a look at what the outcome might very well be. First of all, treat your business like a real business. If you hire your children, don't treat this as a disguised allowance. Actually have them perform work. And I mean work that is appropriate for their age. It might be something as simple as working in your mail room, sorting the mail. It might be doing janitorial around the office. Or maybe if you're a real estate investor, helping to clean up properties after tenants move out and to prepare it for painting, uh, get the property fixed up and helping to look good. But make sure that whatever work you assign to them is appropriate for their age. Next, if you're going to hire your kids in your business, pay them the going rate, just like you would any other employee. Give them age-appropriate activities to do. Now, here's some thought on what you might pay them. Now, let's say over time, as your children age and grow, they're going to be given more responsibilities and a wider range of services that they can perform for your business. Well, as the years go by, you continue to pay them the age-appropriate amount, but you take out a portion of that and put the maximum amount you can into their IRA. So let's say that the maximum amount for an IRA in a given year is, I don't know, five or six thousand dollars. Okay, while they're in elementary school or junior high school, you can deduct the amount that you pay them. They can offset that income with the deductions of their IRA. And by the time they get to the 12th grade, after 12 years of working for you, mom or dad, they'll have a substantial amount in their IRA. Moreover, if that amount is left to grow, and it doubles over time using the rule of 72, then that amount could be very substantial by the time they hit retirement age. Let's talk about that rule of 72 for a moment and see how it would apply assuming that you hired your kids to do age-appropriate activities beginning in the first grade. Now it might be something simple when they're in the first grade, but you could pay them the amount equal to what the IRA maximum contribution is. So theoretically, let's just say that's $5,000. You could pay them $5,000, six or $7,000 and deduct every penny as a business expense because you're paying employee. Now let's say that of that five or six or $7,000, the maximum amount goes into their IRA. Let's call it $5,000. By the time they finish high school, okay, at age 18 or at the 12th grade, they now have about $60,000 just in principle that's been contributed to their IRA. And if you add the interest rate growth, it could be significantly higher, maybe even double using the rule of 72. Now let's just use that rule of 72 for a moment and take a look at that. If you had put 5,000 a year from the first grade to the 12th grade and your children were performing age appropriate activities for work and they have earned income, well by the time they get through the 12th grade, you've put at that figure about $60,000 into their retirement plan and you got to deduct it as a legitimate business expense.
Now let's assume that your child has graduated from high school. You've put 5000 a year into their IRA starting in the first grade. And it's not an allowance. They actually earned their money. But by the time they graduate from high school, they have a good working history. They have good work skills. They have worked for the family business. You have deducted the pay that you gave them. And you maximize the amount going into their IRA from their first grade all the way through the 12th grade. Now, mom or dad, you could just stop making any more contributions to your child's IRA. And in 12 years, using 6% and the rule of 72, it would double again. Now, in the first 6 to 12 to 24 years, guess what? You're probably not setting the world on fire. But in the last 6, 12, or 24 years, it's going to double again and again and again and again. So by the time they reach retirement age, your children could be set for life, thanks to you hiring them as a young child in your business. Now there's a lot of ideas like this that you can use that are tax efficient and help you grow your retirement, protect your family, help your children build their retirement and make them more secure. I'm attorney Michael Potter and I look forward to hearing from you.